Hello and good afternoon. It is approximately afternoon, <laughs> Los Angeles, Silicon Valley. How you doing? Uh, just coming back. It's been a minute, and uh, I'm on the treadmill. That's how you got to get it done, right? So I'm out here, and uh, just gonna basically bring you guys back up to speed and uh, inform you of what's been going on and how the journey toward success, or at least on my terms, has been going. And, uh, you know, uh, what, what, what the next step is. So, for those of you just are now tuning in, a little back history. Gene Haynes here, writer, filmmaker, all around do it type of guy. Um, since graduating college, uh, gone through with the uh, acting and it's been proven to be good but uh, you know gotta push further so bought my own equipment check started writing again check started using those talents to fulfill my own opportunities uh, in situations beyond thug number two and uh, how's it been going Pretty well. Scroll back, see some YouTube videos. I believe at one point I was making about a, a short film a week and uh, kind of surmounted that climb and feeling really good there and met a lot of great people and collaborated with a lot of great individuals um, through the use of that equipment that I bought and my own talents. Furthermore, excelled in the art of photography got trained at some very elite photography institutions i met some gurus along the way exceeded my own expectation that's why it's always important to dream big folks because <laughs> the problem isn't that you'll hit the problem is you go far beyond and have to expand sooner than you, you thought you did but did that very, very fashionably and was the first person out there to make a book trailer, a movie trailer for a book. I believe before me, this is early 2010s, um, people were making book trailers uh, that were just static images of pictures. And I read a, read a book that a celebrity was having difficulties getting published around the time of uh, uh, it's that crazy mommy porn that's out right there you know what I'm talking about uh, Fifty Shades and uh, he, he wasn't able I guess to get it done so he went on his own route God bless him and we had a good working relationship and just overall trust and uh, saw it and it's like what do you think about this Hmm. Huh. Oh, okay. Think you do better? Prove it. Thank you. I went to acting school, right? I've been writing, right? No one's told me I'm good, but I think I'm worth the damn, so chopped up something after reading the material, of course. Pushed that through. Hired some of my acting classmates after seeing the things that in this book. This wonderful book, by the way. Laws of Depravity by the author Eric LaSalle, pushed that out to him, and he was like, like, this is actually good. You actually have talent. Thank you, sir, thank you, sir. Change this, this, this. You got it, yes, sir. Gave it back to him, posted it on his website. It's now traditionally published. The book went on to win 2013's best thriller, and uh, got a little bit more work from that, and edited a whole bunch of stuff that I never thought I would be from remote locations and you know and that propelled me to okay now let's write my own and actually I can because it's working and yeah it's great so I pushed myself 2018 December finished my bachelor's degree in English and uh, still at it you know published two books right before graduation I want to say 
in about three months and exceeded the, av the, the average for life expectancy of a book. I think about 50 to 100 copies. Well beyond that for both books. And this year I told myself I was gonna write two how to do books. As you can tell, I'm on the treadmill now, but two how to do books because I don't wanna put myself in a box. That happens to a lot of different people early on. And although it may happen, it's not gonna be by me. So I told myself I was gonna do one thing and I did it, but uh, just like everyone else, I'm working on it. I'm working on be not being so hard on myself. I think in a 30 day trial period when I was gonna journal and sh explain to everyone how I reach these impeccable odds that everyone says, oh my God, it's impossible. 30, how do you lose 29 pounds in 30 days uh, by exercising and changing your diet? I'll tell you again, well, I'm gonna write it, make some money from it. So, uh, because I missed two days and thought that would be cheating the public, I decided to go back and back. But what I really should have done is just write, 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 give it to you. Instead of beating myself up about it, lesson learned. So, one book's about 70% done, it's in the editing phases. Sometimes I hand it off to people to read, but most of the time, everything's done by me and my team. And 98% uh, of the time, my team is me. So I hope you enjoy it. And I'd have to say the only mistake I, which I'm proud of, super proud of, kicked ass. The only mistake I've made thus far would probably be in the second book. But he's like, yeah, it's great, it's awesome, it's amazing. But what is it? It's like, what do you mean, what is it? It's like, yeah, these are dope, but like, what is it? Went back, checked it out. How do you forget the forward? <laughs> forward answers every question. Ah, but hey, lesson learned. And note to self, although I may have deadlines, that fifth time or the eighth time in editing a book, it's worth it. Nineteenth time, <laughs> it's worth it. But yeah, I was a deadline guy. I still am a deadline guy. Give myself deadlines and uh, it just seemed right to have a poetry book to be released on Valentine's Day. <sighs> Wouldn't change anything. Republished the book with the forward and uh, a little more personal now. Added a couple in there just for the weight. A couple more uh, favors. So if you've purchased the first poetry book, I think it says first edition in it. Second one should say second edition, which is now available on Amazon. Southless Pug. Um, the White Album uh, by Eugene Haynes. Uh, you've got a collector's item. <laughs> and in the uh, event of my untimely death, I hope it makes you some money. At least more than you paid for it. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Got much more to come. Love you all. Talk to you soon. I'm out.